Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the transfer characteristics of MOSFET. So as we know that E only MOSFET has two types of MOSFET that is N channel and P channel. And this N channel and P channel will be different in the transfer characteristic format. So, let us first see what will be the transfer characteristics of N channel E only MOSFET. And as we know that for E only MOSFET, the MOSFET will give the drain current only for VGS equals to positive voltage and VDS equals to positive voltage. That means we can say that the threshold voltage VT will be positive. So, if we draw the transfer characteristics of the N channel E only MOSFET, so in the VGS it will be positive, so it will be taken in the positive x axis and there will be id taken in the y axis so in the y axis we will plot only the saturated value of the id for different value of vgs so the transfer characteristics of e only n channel mosfet will have a positive vt and before VT, the MOSFET will be off. So, we will get zero current. After VT, the transfer characteristics will look like this. For increasing of the gate to source voltage, we will get higher value of saturated current ID. So, we can say that this is the off region of the MOSFET and this is the on region of the MOSFET. Hence, we can write also that when the gate to source voltage is less than VT, it will be MOSFET will be in the off state and when VGS is greater than VT, the MOSFET will be in the on state. So, this is the transfer characteristics of E only MOSFET for N channel. Now, if we look at the P channel, then it will look like this. We know that for a P channel, the VGS value that is required for the drain current will be negative. So, we can say that the threshold value of the E only P channel MOSFET will be negative. That is why we will plot the VGS value in the negative x direction and id value in the positive y direction. So, in this way we can say that this is the vt value. So, vt value will have a minus sign and this vt value will give when the MOSFET will be on. So, we can draw the transfer characteristics like this. Before the VT value, the ID current will be 0 because the MOSFET is off and after VT value, the transfer characteristics will look like this. So, we can divide, so we can divide the total graph into two parts. So, in this part, 
it is the off state and in this part it is the on state of the MOSFET. So we can write when VGS value or negative of VGS is equals to minus VT then the MOSFET will start its on state. So transfer characteristics is plotted either in the first quadrant and the first quadrant plot is for the n channel only MOSFET or in the second quadrant that is for the p channel MOSFET because the VGS value that is required here is negative. So we can say that for the p channel and the n channel the transfer characteristic plot will just be same only the quadrant value will be changes. So this is all about the transfer characteristics plot for E only MOSFET. Thank you.